All right, so it was a big day. It was a really big, big day. Big few past couple days. Uh, but one thing that I kind of thought was interesting was uh, the John McDougall talk last night. Does sugar cause cancer? What do you think? Does sugar cause cancer? According to John McDougall, no. <laughs> so he's not talking about table sugar or yeah, white so sugar. Yeah, so I guess the key here is you got to clarify sugar. You know, is it a complex sugar from whole grains, etc., or is it... Or potatoes, don't forget about potatoes. Or potatoes, <laughs> those are technically sugar, but it's a complex sugar, as opposed to the processed crap and, you know, candy, etc., blah, blah, right, blah. Right, we're not and talking Oreo sugars and... So, but he did say that they, they'll sprinkle a little bit of sugar on, like, their oatmeal in the morning. They always have oatmeal and berries and... Mm -hmm. But not, like, gobs of sugar or, like, sugar in the oatmeal. Yeah. Yeah. So I find that was, that was interesting, that sugar really hasn't been shown to cause cancer, actually. So sugars would be sugars that are in starches, mostly. So, mm -hmm. so that was a good one. Yeah. Um, that was kind of the main one last night. And then uh, today, what kind of stood out, stood out to you? Well, um, we listened to a cardiologist talk named Monica Agarwal. And yeah, she was great. She was awesome. And you know what was so funny is that I'm looking at her presentation and she's clicking through slides and I'm like looking at Russell and he, he didn't, like, I didn't this even looks have to like, say it. This looked like her presentation, like yeah. did she look at this one and... <laughs> we were like so much on the same page just as far as our thought regarding many things including the microbiome, etc. Yeah, um, she did a great job. Yeah, she did a really good job. So I enjoyed that talk. I enjoyed hearing, you know, other physicians talk and she, she really did well. Yeah, and then also, while well, I'm thinking of it, but if you guys are curious, uh, you can actually watch all of these talks online. Mm -hmm. You go on the John McDougall website, I think $50 or something, $50 maybe. for a whole weekend worth of talks. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then who else? We got... Um... So we had Mary McDougall talk quite a bit about the food aspect of things, the practical stuff. Like oh, She yeah. gave a talk last night about how to just eat practically. How to cook simply. You don't simply need to make and, fancy stuff yeah. and it can be beans and rice, basically. Yeah, I think they have a lot <laughs> of good uh, recipes on their website as well. Yeah, so she had a yeah. lot of tips just for making dinner quickly and simply. And then today she gave a talk about eating out. Which I thought was the really good points that she had. And uh, yeah. for us, we kind of learned the hard way, but it's, mm -hmm. it's great to have someone kind of spell out how you can eat out and not have it be difficult. Yeah. And by learning the hard way, like we would go out and eat and um, we'd be like, can we get this food vegan? We don't care as long as it's vegan and it would just come out drowning in oil. And yeah, so that's it one wasn't thing very good. We need to do more often is ask for it like oil free. But she actually had a great point of like asking for your hash browns dry, like put on, mm -hmm. on the griddle dry. Without the oil. Yeah. It was great. And then uh, with, of course this uh, Andrew Taylor Spud Fit, one of my favorite talks. I mean, yeah, yours is my favorite talk. So <laughs> <Aww>. she. <laughs> but uh, no, he did a really great job. Uh, super impressed. I think everyone really uh, enjoyed his talk. He, he's a great storyteller and can articulate very well. So. I think he resonated with a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Kind of like Dr. McDougall said, he's he's like a common person, you know. And people see him and hear his story, and they think, oh well, that's that's not too far from me or what I'm like. If he can do it, maybe I can do it. And yeah. it's very inspiring. And he's a super genuine guy, you know. Yeah. He, he like saw a picture of his kid, you know, up on the on his uh, slide and just started to kind of get choked up a little bit and just so much love. And he just, he does a great podcast. So if you guys haven't checked him out, uh, spudfit.com. Uh, I think he's got a website, also a YouTube channel. And a spudfit podcast. Yeah, so check him out. Um, but yeah, super genuine guy and all of his like little, uh, his uh, vlogs are very personal and just done on his iPhone and you can really kind of uh, get into his life and what he's doing. Yeah. And uh, so then our minutes talk went great. Uh, 10 ways a plant-based diet can help you... Avoid the scalpel. Avoid the scalpel. <laughs> so that's <laughs> always a, a great talk. talk. Uh, so we should be able to put that up on the YouTube channel as well here shortly. Mm -hmm. So keep an eye out for that.
Yeah. Um, and then a couple of other speakers to kind of round out the day. Yeah, Dustin Rudolph, who's a farm D, he spoke a lot about diabetes and the drugs and diet and how, how those are all intertwined. And mm -hmm. funny enough, um, Dustin trained in North Dakota, which is where I trained, and he grew up in Montana, which is where I spent most of my time growing yeah. up. And where we he both grew up in Montana, so. and we, yeah, we actually, he, he went to school in Fargo, North Dakota, and we lived in Fargo, North Dakota for two years during your residency. But we didn't know each other there. Yeah. It's interesting stuff. And then there's supposed so. to be a surprise guest, but uh, the day went long, and so I guess uh, Dr. McDougall is keeping that kind of... Uh, up his uh, sleeve. Up his sleeve <laughs> for some later date or something, so maybe yeah. tomorrow. Uh, and then dinner, I took lots of uh, pictures of food. Yeah, I uh, gotta say, the food has been phenomenal, and honestly, I've eaten like a king. Every single meal is just delicious, whole yeah. foods, healthy stuff. Eating um, way more than I think we normally would eat, just enjoying the food because it's all vegan so easy and different yeah. and you just want to try everything mm -hmm. so, so that was pretty much the day long day really good day um, i'm happy my talk is over and now i can kind of relax a little bit and enjoy yeah. the rest of the weekend no it's great and uh, a few more talks tomorrow and then we head back to hawaii uh tomorrow morning late yeah. morning so mm -hmm. anyway that's uh, that's it, and that's maybe we it. can do a little bit more for uh, tomorrow's talk. And we'll be back in Hawaii making more great videos with great backgrounds and the ocean and the mountains totally. and tropical you won't get rainforest. This hotel room background very yeah, often. Yeah, this isn't this, <laughs> this isn't the normal fare. So, all right, thanks a lot, guys, for watching. Ciao. Aloha, from California. <laughs>